Welcome to the final video in the Intro to Tyke API Management series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to view aggregated API analytics, how to enable detailed logging, and how to use the Gateway's built-in debug feature. Let's get started. In order to view our aggregated analytics, the first thing we want to do is come to our activity dashboard. You can access it by clicking Gateway Dashboard in the top left corner. This takes us to the API activity dashboard. You can see that we can filter by APIs, by time, and by date. This view gives us a view of all of the requests that have been made through our gateway so far. Keep in mind these are aggregated analytics. For example, we can see the errors, and if we've tracked our endpoints, we can see that which endpoints are the most popular. We can view activity on a per API basis. For example, here are the requests for our HTTP bin demo API, the number of successes we've made, and the number of errors we've gotten. We can view the analytics by key. For example, in the previous video, we signed up as an API developer and we were able to make some API requests with that. We can take a look at the endpoint popularity, supposing we've tracked our endpoints. We can also look at activity by location if we've enabled it. We can take a look at the summary of the errors. For example, which types of errors are the most popular, such as the 429s where we exceed the rate limit, or the 401s where we don't pass an API key. And last but not least, we have the detailed log browser. So here we can see information such as the request metadata and the gateway metadata. However, we can also capture the entire request and the entire response, and I'll show you how to do that. So what we want to do is come into the APIs tab underneath system management. We're going to want to go into our HTTP bin demo API. And here's a switch where we flip to enable detailed logging. So we'll save the entire request and the entire response so you can browse it in the log browser. Let me go ahead and update this API. Coming back to the log browser, all we have to do is make a couple API requests. For example, I can hit the get endpoint of HTTP bin, and I can also hit the XML endpoint. Giving it a quick refresh, we can now see that there's two more requests that have been saved. Clicking in, you can see that here we've hit the get endpoint the entire request was captured, along with the entire response. Same thing with the XML endpoint. Now we disable the detailed logging by default. The reason for this is because some requests might have sensitive information in there and you don't want that persisted to your database. Another reason might be that you just don't want all your analytics taking up your storage. Now back in the API activity dashboard, you'll see that my most popular endpoints is populated. How did we get this view? Well, in our APIs tab, Again, going back to our HTTP bin demo API and going into the endpoint designer, you can see that I've added a track endpoint plugin. With this plugin enabled, we'll be able to see our most popular endpoints and populate the view on the bottom right here. Last but not least, let me show you the debug functionality of Tyke. So if we go into our APIs, into HTTP bin demo, you can see that there's a debug tab on the rightmost side. Clicking into it, you can see that we can make requests through the gateway itself. So for example, I need to add authorization here, and I need to paste in an API key so I have access to my API. Now when I hit run, you can see that I have all the information about the entire response of my request, as well as the entire middleware request chain that my request went through. As you can see, this information is super informative for debugging because it allows you to see what middleware is being run when the request passes through your gateway. And that about sums it up. I really encourage you to come to tyke.io and sign up for a free trial for yourself. It doesn't require a credit card, and you get all these powerful features so that you can spin up a POC of Tyke to see whether or not it suits your needs. As always, my name is Gia. I'm a solutions architect with Tyke. And if you run into any issues or you just want a demo, please feel free to reach out. Myself or any one of my team members would be more than happy to help you out. Hope to hear from you soon.